Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're doing a follow-up on the new iOS 13.4 which has been released like a couple days ago to the public by Apple. So in this video, we're going to take a look back at iOS 13.4 and of course talk about its performance, the new features that have been discovered as well as battery life and also some very serious bugs that can be found within iOS 13.4. So let's go ahead, take a look at all that and see how is iOS 13.4 doing and should you install it or not on your device if you haven't already installed it yet. So let's get started. Here's my follow up on iOS 13.4. All right, starting off with the first new change that we have noticed on the App Store, if you're searching for apps, you know that there are apps that actually offer like stickers and filters and all that stuff that you can use within FaceTime. So now when you're on the App Store, you will see here a badge for FaceTime. So when you're looking at an app, it will show you like what apps that app offers. So you will have iPad apps, Apple Watch apps, then we had iMessage apps, and now we have also FaceTime apps. So you will see right there the FaceTime logo, which indicates that this app has something, something to offer like a sticker or something for FaceTime. Another change within the music app. Now, when you go to your account on the music app and you go to notifications, you will have an option here to enable show in library. Now, what this does is that it shows you library notifications. So right there at the top of the library on your music app, you will see a notification showing you that your favorite artist has released a new song or an album. So for every new release of your favorite artist, you will have the notification right there at the top of your library. Now, another change that I have noticed with the folders on iOS 13.4, you know, when you update an app that is on a folder, it shows the circle, the update circle on the folder icon. But now with iOS 13.4 is not showing it at all. I don't know whether this is a bug or it's a, basically a change that Apple has done, but you will won't get the circle on the folders when you're updating apps. And with iOS 13.4, Apple is also bringing third party maps apps to CarPlay. So if you have a car that has CarPlay, now with iOS 13.4, you will be able to use third party maps apps. So you will be able to choose not just from the Apple maps, but other part other third party apps as well. Performance wise, iOS 13.4 has been really good for me since the start from beta one. It has done pretty good. Now I had this for like more than one month now since beta one released and it has done pretty good, very, very smooth. And of course running really quick here on the iPhone 11 pro as it should, because it's a pretty new device. So this is the Geekbench score 1,332 on the single core score and 3,422 on the multi core score on the iPhone 11 pro right here. Battery life has also been pretty good since beta one on iOS 13.4. I didn't have any like major problems with battery draining or stuff like that. So battery life should be improved a bit, not something that you will really, really notice on your daily use, but it should be a bit improved better than iOS 13.3.1. So if you're looking to get a bit, a tiny bit of better battery life, then go ahead and install iOS 13.4. And now let's move on a bit to the older devices. So I have here my iPhone SE, which has the A9 chip, which is the same as the iPhone 6S. So basically these are the two oldest iPhones that support iOS 13. So here's the Geekbench score of the iPhone SE, 563 on the single core score, 1042 on the multi-core score. Now overall it's doing pretty good. Now I had this iOS 13.4 on the iPhone SE since beta three, I believe. So that's like two or three weeks or maybe even four from now. It's running pretty smooth. No like major problems, no glitches at all for the iPhone SE being such an old device is running really, really good. Battery seems to be the same as on all iOS 13 versions. So from the first beta of iOS 13, of course, there will be some improvement until at the point, but from like iOS 13.1 until now, I haven't noticed any like major changes on the battery life on the iPhone SE. So overall, a very good update 
for the iPhone SE, really smooth, really polished and is not giving me any problems at all. While this update was great for the iPhone, it was even better for the iPads. The new cursor support that Apple has added with all the new features making like the cursor on the iPad more like that of the Mac is pretty awesome. Now, it has been running smoothly on my iPad. The only thing that I have noticed like a bug is that when I disconnect my mouse from my iPad, I still have the cursor on the screen. So like a few hours after it has been disconnected it's still showing the cursor on the screen it doesn't do anything it just appears there and gets removed after a few seconds so that's the only bug that i have noticed with ipad os and the new cursor now let's move on to talking about some more serious bugs that can be found on ios 13.4 and unfortunately they will be found on earlier versions as well so ios 13.4 does include a bug which will basically consume data for like stuff that isn't installed on your iPhone. So when you go to your cellular data settings on the settings app, you will see here uninstalled apps. Now here it shows the data that have been used by apps that you have already uninstalled. Now, this is not an issue for me, from the reports that I have read, this is mostly a, an issue for users of the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10R, and the iPhone 11. So basically, what's happening here is just data is just floating from the iPhone, and you will see if you have one of those iPhones, take a look at the data that uninstalled apps have consumed and just take a look at it if you have like a certain number don't uninstall any apps and see if that data is increasing even without you uninstalling any apps so basically the report saying that from the support from AT&T and Verizon the tech support is telling users that they are aware of this problem and also according to Verizon the data basically is using ports that are associated with audio and video streaming. So Apple, of course, knows of this problem. This is a problem that is also on earlier versions of iOS 13, and hopefully there will be a fix very, very soon. So, of course, Apple will be working on this. Hopefully the fix will come really soon. For now, it is not like there is any solution anything you can do about it just make sure you check out the data here at the uninstalled apps section and make sure it's not moving without you uninstalling any apps that previously have used data at all so this is a pretty major bug hopefully there will be an update very very soon to fix this problem the next huge bug that can be found on ios 13.4 is a bug that has to do with the VPN connections. Now, this has been discovered on iOS 13.3.1, but unfortunately is still present on iOS 13.4. So basically this bug is just keeping VPNs from being able to fully encrypt the user traffic and data. So what happens when you connect to a VPN connection? Basically, the operating system of your device will close all the existing internet connections and will just reestablish them all through the VPN. But according to Proton, they have discovered that on iOS 13.3.1, the operating system won't close all the existing connections, so that's where the issue happens. And this issue is still persistent on iOS 13.4, and that's really bad. Now, of course, Apple knows about it, and they're working on a fix. Hopefully, there will be an update very soon to fix this problem. So there is a fix to this, a temporary fix, of course, a workaround that you can do. So basically what you will have to do is first of all, connect your VPN. Once you have done that, go ahead and turn on the airplane mode and then just turn it off and you're good to go. That problem will be fixed. So you will have to do this every time you disconnect to a VPN and then connect again. So this is the workaround for now. Hopefully there will be update, an update to fix this very, very soon. So that's it for this video guys, this is a follow up on iOS 13.4 regarding its performance, battery life, the new features and also some bugs that have been found on iOS 13.4. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more and also don't forget to leave a like on this one and I will see you guys on the next one.